brown background. I love yeah. it. That's my wallpaper back home. Oh, witchy. We don't know where the bandits came from or who's behind them. We'll draw attention if we venture out as a group. By splitting up, we can also cover more territory. I'll go west. I know a few people there, and I prefer the coastal Then climate. I'll head east, to Kedwin, unless someone objects. That's fine. Which way should I go? South, to Tamaria. King Foltest owes you a debt of gratitude. Some time ago, you removed a curse from his daughter. You might happen on the bandit's trail there. And you, Triss? I'll try to use my influence to find the bandits. If I learn anything, I'll contact Geralt. So that king and his uh, cursed daughter is exactly what that Strega fight in the beginning cinematic was. We lifted that curse. Yep. Actual story. I'll gather what information I can and find you in Vizina. Triss. Don't, Geralt. I detest goodbyes. I'm liable to cry, and there's nothing more pathetic than a sorceress in tears. Don't get killed, Geralt. I don't think I could deal with that again. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Fucking wish I had one of those. <laughs> The bandits succeeded in stealing secrets which witches had been guarding for centuries. <clears throat> Their leader, a Zeracanian mage, proved too powerful even for Triss Marigold. The witches set out in search of the stolen secrets, classically to the four corners of the world. Geralt of Rivia went south, to Vizima. And this is where our story really begins. Oh, there it is! Yeah, boy! So fucking beautiful. So Everything. chapter one is going to be the story about the beast. I love it. I love this story. I love it as well. Because it's all, it's all like kind of detective y. And yeah. Kind of like, I love it. It's not far now. We'll be there soon. I'm cold. We'll fetch you warm milk and honey. You'd like that. Very much. Thank you, Caroline. What are those dogs doing? Dogs? Do exactly as I say. This is important. Run to the inn as fast as you can, and don't look back. Understand? Evil dogs. Run! Yeah, they fucking glow. So amazing. I love the music as well. Shut the gate, quickly! The beast! The beast is attacking! Sound the alarm! <laughs> Just flops. I can't. I can't. <laughs> can't be dealing with this. Where's my wall, honey? <laughs> <Fault test. laughs> yeah! Ah, oh, fuck me! <laughs> Geralt, Melatelli must have sent you. There's a woman outside. The dogs will tear her apart. Help her. Help! No! Don't open the gate. The beasts will enter. These dogs are deadly. You people are monsters. Stand aside. I save her myself. I Stop. save her myself. Don't go out there alone. Damn you, we're all going to die! 
Alright, it needs to be very carefully because I think like three or four of these bar guests appear and they can be pretty fucking deadly. Yes. Like fast style works on them. I need you to swing the blade, Geralt. He's not moving at all! Oh, I'm in trouble! I popped out a bit too late to be fair, but hopefully we can kind of run in circles. Yeah, we can kite him around and get some help out. But so, oh man! Oh no, you run into the fire! Yeah, uh, fuck! Run away! Run away! The way to witch you. The and way to witch you. Yeah, this is pretty much the way of the witch. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the great thing about swallow. It's regenerating my health, and I got like I got the legs of a leopard. I can outrun these bar guests, no problem. But yeah, get out, I get out of my way. Your, uh, room for fast. Yeah, there we go, you got it. You got this. Finish! Dang. So it's all about setting up your chance to get momentum, because it's all about the momentum in the, the fight. Beast. Oh shit, here we go. Oh the yeah. The time of the sword and axe approaches. The time of the white frost and white light. The time of madness and disdain. To it, the final age. The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun. Reborn of elder blood, of hen care, of a planted seed. A seed that will not sprout but burst into flames. Okay, so that prophecy is extremely important to the story. The old elven prophecy of Itlina. I hope he's all right. It seems he saved us from the beast. Yes, seems so. Oh, I do hope he's not hurt. I'll need to find someone to take care of him. He shouldn't be alone. We'll stay at the inn in the meantime. Wait a minute. I ran into wild dogs on my way here, but they were nothing like these, and I don't mean just the green fur. Know anything about them? They've been terrorizing the village for some time. Every few days, a villager is killed. The pack is led by a large hound, perhaps a wolf. People call it the Beast. Someone might pay to have the Beast slain. That's what witchers do, isn't it? But enough about monsters. What brings you here? I'm seeking men who wear the sign of the Salamander. Seen anyone like that in the area? Shh, not so loud. There was someone, but the peasants grow silent at the mere mention of him. The Reverend might know more. You may also want to ask him about the Beast. I'll do that. Did you want to ask me something? You know, what? Shawnee. Yeah. Like this character, she always reminds me of Link. <laughs> really? Yeah, because of her outfit. She always <laughs> reminds me of Link. It's been a long time since I've heard mention of Salamandra. Do you know anything about them? I think they're a group of bandits who terrify the locals. Yesterday, they returned a boy they'd whipped with a lamia. A lamia? A mayhem crop with small barbs and hooks. It rips away skin and flesh with each strike. Most civilized countries have banned them. The boy was delirious, muttered something about a ransom and the reverend. Sadly, he grew feverish, and he died that night. Thanks. I may stay longer than I planned. Why the interest in Salamandra? So it seems that this reverend has some kind of connection with the Salamandra, but in what connection we don't know yet. So now we could choose to either kind of reserve information or share it. So what would you like to do? Because ah. I think they killed someone I was fond of and stole something of mine. It's still, it's information, but it's very vague, isn't it? Yeah, I'd go with yeah, that. It's not and I like Shawnee, yeah. so... They killed someone I was fond of and stole something of mine. I wouldn't want to be them. Oh, no. Do we know each other? It's me, Shawnee. Don't you recognize me? Whatever happened to you? I heard you died during a massacre in Rivia. Unfortunately, I lost my memory. I recall the last few weeks, nothing more. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't help. Medicine's a fledgling science here in the North. I can say that your memory might come back on its own. It's not that bad. I'm actually getting used to it. I hate to admit it, but... Sorcerers are somewhat more effective at this than we are. Maybe one of them could help. 
I like her honesty. What brings you to this village? I'm traveling to St. Libiota's Hospital in Vizima to help fight the Catriona Plague. When are you leaving? Once I've helped the victims of the dog attacks, I guess. I can't abandon them. It'll delay me, but some are certain to die without my aid. So what'll become of Alvin? I don't know. I'll look after him for now. Maybe a villager will take him in. He seems clever enough. Surely someone will want him. Did you want to ask me something? We'll speak later. Alright guys, so that was the intro into chapter one, The Beast. So ah. We've become we've come here on the outskirts of the of the Zima in Tamaria. So this is our little a little area that we can explore right now and let me tell you even though it's like a kind of it looks small but really there's so much to it yeah, it's really so much big. to do so many people and so many quests to interact with and then but oh man and that's just one chapter it, it is insane just the amount of stuff you can do and yes chapter one is an extremely great like introduction to just yeah. how this world is yeah it's it's amazing it's one of my favorites so a big reminder the world is hugely morally gray not every not everything that looks human is innocent and not everything that looks monstrous is evil you know exactly. what i mean and so and you're going to be facing choices like exactly, that in this game everything is all about choice and consequence action and reaction and i cannot wait to get more into this game but I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Probably tomorrow. Yeah, probably <laughs> tomorrow because once I start playing The Witcher, it is hard for me to take a break from it, to be honest. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. I hope you did too. Especially to those who may have not even heard or have heard a bit but never really played it. I really hope uh, you guys have enjoyed this, this and little introduction. And interest. Yeah, man. Um, again, if you want to see like a more um, in-depth look into the game where you know we're reading all of the glossary um, additions, all of like you know all the stuff on the characters, monsters, that kind of thing. Let me know, and I'll be more than happy to read them. But as a reminder, uh, we'll be buying multiple copies of this very game, and we'll be giving them to you guys, um, so you can play this game yourself and experience it. But until then, guys, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye bye. Bye boy. Stream. Okay, <laughs> hold on a second. J Jenny wants to show her Witcher tattoo on on stream. So you see, you see this bit. You see this wolf medallion here. Uh, memorize it. Memorize it, yeah. You see it here as well. Memorize that big bad boy. All right. All right. Hold up. Uh, let's see. There we go. And the witch. Maybe the like witchy. click the plus there, so it zooms in. There it is. Witchy. It's so awesome, isn't it? Witchy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess something else. <laughs> witchy. No, that's not witch. Um.